Hi, welcome back. This is Joan Landino at Joan Landino Says. Today's topic is about generic versus brand medication. Within the last year, Wellbutrin XL 300 milligrams has been recalled, and I learned about that, interestingly enough, through Forbes magazine. As a prescriber, I really feel that I should have been written a letter or been told by someone such as the manufacturer. Also, pharmacists haven't um, been aware of it either. But we all knew in psych, well, Butrin XL didn't work very well, so we try to prescribe it differently anyway. What's it also prescribed for besides psych? You keep saying oh. for in psych. Oh. What else is it? Well, Butrin's for? also prescribed for um, cessation of smoking in the form of Zyban. Oh, okay. All right. 150 milligrams is fine. It's just the 300 milligrams has been recalled. But a lot of clients come in and say that they don't think their medicine is working once, a, once their medicine has gone from brand to generic. Most of the time it works. Do I take generic meds? Of course I do. Do I take brand? Can't afford them. Um, but basically there are a few meds that have mm -hmm. a very narrow window of effectiveness. I'm going to say a narrow therapeutic window where it is do you know what that is? No, I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing like, I don't know. I can't guess anything. What is it? Okay, so um, the therapeutic efficacy is within this range, mm -hmm. and then here and here would be toxic levels. So there are some meds that people don't even feel comfortable prescribing a generic, mm -hmm. because let me explain a generic. Mm -hmm. Once a medicine goes generic, it can have, and the FDA will approve this, it can have 80 to 120 percent bioavailability, not active ingredient, which most mm -hmm. people say, I explain it that way as well, mm -hmm. which only means that when you give that generic medicine in the test, mm -hmm. testing stages, 80% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. has to be bioavailable to your body within the time frame that the brand had to, plus 80% of to 120 mm -hmm. should also be a pain reliever, should also be given the antidepressant effect, it should also be giving the same effects. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say same because it's really equivalent and it's not always equivalent. So I also agree that there are some meds that shouldn't be given generic. And sometimes if I've had a bad experience with the manufacturer, not the people who actually, not the scientists who actually made the meds in the lab, the people who are manufacturing it for sales, it's not their fault. They think it's approved and it's great. But I have written on a prescription pad, not blank, because that particular generic just hasn't been effective. Mm -hmm. um, now, can someone be, I have a couple questions already, I didn't Great. even think I would have any Great. for this. Um, my first question is, um, can someone be allergic to something that's in a generic, like, so say I was on brand Lamictal <clears throat> or brand Cymbalta or whatever, and I'm fine on it and it's great, and then I get generic, could I be allergic to it? Yes. You could? Thanks, because not only is it the 80 to 120% bioavailability, it also is fillers and coatings. Oh, okay. So I actually had a massive allergic reaction. I'm an identical twin, same DNA. We both took the same medicine. I took a generic, she took brand years mm -hmm. ago, I had a massive allergic reaction and they are assuming, whoever they are, mm -hmm. that it was the fillers or coating. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then also, does the insurance company dictate if you can have brand or generic? Yes. Why is that? Generic if is a lot less expensive. Not that I agree with the fact that brand should, I think brand should come down more reasonable because I've said in other videos, take the money out of medicine. Why should a brand medication cost three, 100, 600, um, I don't want to mention his name. Mm -hmm. He pays $1,000 a month for a medicine that's not even a controlled substance. Yeah, maybe it is. Um, but why should anything cost that much? Mm -hmm. Whereas when it's generic, there's some generics that I pay for, it's $8 for yeah. a 30-day supply. Yeah. But I want to um, clarify one thing, the fact that I'm an identical twin. Mm -hmm. Even if we both took the same brand or the same generic, prior to age six, um, there can be DNA changes with antibodies and stuff. That's so you guys can be different? We can. You can metabolize yeah. The DNA is the same, but I can be allergic to something. But you guys both took that DNA test that we talked about a couple of videos back, and yes. you guys had the exact same DNA, though, didn't you? 
For those three liver pathways, yeah. What Crazy. episode was that? I don't know, but it was like almost like was it a waste of money to have you both do it? No, I really thought since it wasn't done by age six mm -hmm. and it wasn't have. set in stone, I truly thought I was going to have a different set of enzyme activity than mm -hmm. Jane. But we had the same. Mm -hmm. And then let me tell you, the ones that have the narrow, narrow, uh, narrow therapeutic window mm -hmm. are Darvaset, made back in the 50s. Never heard of it. It's an o <laughs> obviously back in the 50s, never heard of it. Oh, they still use it. Okay. It's an opioid, opiate if you want to say, but it's truly an opioid. And mm -hmm. it's used for pain relief. And it's also used, well, prior to 2006, it was still being used at a major hospital in New Haven for um, opiate detox. That one has had more accidental overdoses than any other opiate, opioid. Also, um, a thyroid medication, Synthroid, the generic is levothyroxine. Um, the reason they do so many blood levels on these narrow therapeutic window meds mm -hmm. are because of the fact that it's a generic and it could be 80 to 120 percent. So Synthroid, uh, Coumadin, Darvis that I already mentioned, can't remember the other ones, but there's several others. Mm -hmm. um, I would assume a seizure medication would, a uh, heart medication, it depends. Um, if it doesn't have a narrow therapeutic window, you're all set. Mm -hmm. But if it has that narrow window. Um, is there a general amount of time that a med goes from being brand only, like a brand new med, to when it becomes generic? And is, does that have a lot to do with like the big wigs making money and stuff? Or is that just, it takes a while to get that Lexapro generic? It takes several years, but mm -hmm. some people, I think, I find this abusive. Why mm -hmm. should Lipitor have had almost a 30-year contract or whatever they call it mm -hmm. that they could have that as the brand name? I mean, the money made on Lipitor alone was probably the most of any other med. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's the uh, most prescribed med in America, which is so embarrassing. It's a I mean, blood pressure. no, what, it's for it? cholesterol. And oh. come on, Americans. Well, everyone eats. Let's start eating correctly. I mean, the goal to going on Lipitor isn't, wow, I get to go on Lipitor for the rest of my life and I'm stable. The goal is, and I can eat whatever I want, whatever animal I want, and just drink fats. The goal is to actually change your lifestyle, your diet, and I can't, I don't exercise, but you're supposed to exercise as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. and then get off Lipitor. It's not to stay on Lifetime. Mm -hmm. But do they have a generic of this? Of I think it just went generic. Okay, so it's going to be a lot. It's going to be very hard at this point now for a patient who um, has a reaction to the fillers and coatings of the new generic to be able to get the brand name because it'll be more expensive. Oh, why? You do that work for me, right? Yeah. When it comes I through do. and says it's not approved. Yeah. We have to get prior authorization, but um, some insurance companies don't even, you can write on a prior authorization form that the patient only can have the brand name and they sometimes still deny it. I don't. Sometimes. But most of the time you can say they need brand and they will get brand and they'll be paying more for that. Yeah, but most of the time you don't need brand. Definitely yeah. with Wellbutrin, we knew 300 people plummeted into depression for years mm -hmm. and also they um, weren't quitting smoking either with that particular amount but usually mm -hmm. you have a lower amount to quit the quit smoking it's usually mm -hmm. not 300 milligrams but we of course got around that 150 milligrams mm -hmm. we knew worked so I tried 150 twice oh, I almost said BID twice mm -hmm. a day that got denied it was yeah. 30 for 30 30 yeah. pills for 30 days mm -hmm. and there was a zero percent chance that person wasn't going going to be getting 300 mm -hmm. now if i didn't hear about the forbes magazine mm -hmm. article i would have been forced to give him 300 milligrams and his depression would not have been treated yeah forbes is getting um i don't know if they're getting flack for it but i believe that they can't p believe that we haven't been informed. They can't believe that people haven't apologized to the families. And they want to actually know if any suicides or suicide attempts had been made since the 300 went generic. Mm -hmm. The other thing I do is some people get upset about this. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a comment on my site that, what do you do about generic to generic? That's more dangerous to me. If you're going to go from brand name to generic, I counsel the client on what you might expect. It's most likely going to work for you, but you just mm -hmm. let me know. Um, if it goes from generic to generic, you can go from 80% 
to 100% to 120%, back down to 80%, and then just do the math on that, and that is up and down, especially Wait, the psychiatry so, so I'm confused. So there are many different forms of generic meds. So one, I keep using Lexapro as my example. I know it only recently went generic, but so there could be three different generic Lexapro. There's when Lamictal went generic, within a couple of years, there were 19 different generics making Lamictal, Lamotrigine. That's disgusting. Kind of, but it's I guess... Because it's because company A wants to make money and company B wants to make money? I don't think the generic companies make as much, Michael, and I think that generic <laughs> medicines are good, and I think competition is yeah. good. No, okay, you do, but... <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do? I mean, well, I guess it does work, but... That's crazy to think that I could be on Lexapro and you can be on Lexapro, but I could be having 20% and you can be on 100% of the... You could be rate. having 80% bioavailability, yeah. bioavailability and I could be having 120%. But the true message to get through with yeah, this what video, the true message is there's 20 some odd meds that have a very narrow therapeutic oh. window. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to have a toxic level if you're getting a lot of blood draws, that medicine has a narrow therapeutic window, Coumadin. Mm -hmm. I just want to praise a hematologist that actually took the one extra step to note that I had two clients going in for, uh, they had blood clots, two of them. One went on Coumadin with um, weekly blood draws because they couldn't um, get it to be stable. stable. And the other one immediately f realized that the person was on a antidepressant. And if you're on an antidepressant, it messes mm -hmm. with the Coumadin levels. That doctor put her on Lovenox. He saw that, that my client was on an antidepressant, put him mm -hmm. on Warfarin, which is the generic for Coumadin. And he went w for weekly blood draws. And out of a two-month period, I think his Coumadin level was stable or within normal ranges once. And that, that's gross. So everything's about safety. Don't mm -hmm. go, you know, some people say don't look online. You look online and say, does this medicine have a narrow therapeutic window? And other than that, I do believe generics work. I've been on generics. I'm I will fine. only pay for generic. And I can only afford generics yeah. at this time. So again, if you have any questions about generic versus <clears throat> brand name me medications, please feel free to ask. Joan Landino says, and have a great night. It's a full moon tonight. Have a great night.